Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Bagga and let's play Final Blitz. I hope you like the videos every day that I'm posting up. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and give a thumbs up to the video if you like it. Okay, I'm playing the Karukan defense, c65. I'll take the pawn, get up the bishop, bring the bishop backwards. Here I have to create a retrieval square for my bishop. And since knight comes ahead, I have to play queen, trying to defend the bishop. Next is developing the knight, trying to go for exchange. Okay, I can certainly come back. Okay, why didn't I take the knight first? Blunder. I had to take the knight, that was a check. I would have got a serious advantage in the opening missed it well, that's sad could have got a good advantage in the opening itself okay i'll just play pawn forward develop the bishop which attacks the knight I can take here and maybe I can take another pawn there or let's castle first. Again I left the center pawn hanging for free. I am not careful in this game at all. I've done a lot of blunders already. Okay, let's go ahead with the knight. Trying to hit the bishop. Concentration lapses. Can exchange the queens as well. It should not be a bad idea. Of course, if my opponent does take here, doesn't, which means I can just make my bishop active, trying to remove his battery suddenly, which he was charging on to me with. The bishop is under the attack. I can have the bishop attacking the pawn now. Then not take it. Okay. Now I'm thinking why shouldn't I take it? So I'll take it. Okay, so that was intentional by my opponent. But doesn't work because I go here. Now we can exchange queens again if he really wants to. So he wants to give away the queen. So I should be taking it. Let's oblige to his request. Trying to take another pawn there, which he defends. Um, let's go ahead and break this up. Does take, I take back. Pawn is weak. But it's weak if my opponent sees it. I have been missing a lot of things in this game. Maybe I'm not in a mood to play chess. Can happen sometimes. When you have played a lot over some time. Just trying to get my bishop backwards. Okay, I'll play pawn forward here. To begin with, the idea is simple to save the pawn. Okay, let's just try and pin this thing. Yeah. 
which he immediately saves. Can go here with the bishop, a centralized bishop defending couple of pawns. Can go here as well, attacking the rook. Opponent can play pawn forward, just trying to break open the center. Get the other rook as well into the activity, but doesn't. I'll take this moment to have a rook lift. Can be helpful on the f file as well. Okay, I'll take here because I'm going to attack the bishop with this. I have the control of the seventh rank as well, just in case. Okay, I can double up as well. Just trying to mess around with the bishop. Now, if he goes to save the bishop, let's see with which rook. Because if he plays the rook on this file, then that can be messy. Okay, doesn't play the rook at all. Which leads him to a check. Okay. I can give another check to begin with. Goes here. Nothing is weak there, so I can take a pawn. And take another. I'll go this side. That's a check. I like, like to exchange the rooks. Let's exchange. And a couple of pawns ahead. That should be winning. Okay, last take. I'll take back. Ah, okay. But then I have this. Uh, does it work? It should. I don't know. You can come here and take this. Oh, it doesn't think. Thankfully. You can win on the pawn by just giving a check. Okay, let's exchange rooks. That should be enough. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll push pawns. Because I can defend. And I can go up. He misses one move and queen is on the board. Trying to go there. Check and here comes the queen finally. He has to take now. It's a force take. Yep, winning. Queen's on the board. And so is the resignation. So I miss a lot of stuff here, for example, to begin with. Uh, thankfully, I know everything, I think, what I missed in the opening. So here, I had this nice move of taking the knight. And this would have won on this spot because I get a check, uh, which is has to be saved. And that can be with the knight or the bishop. If the best move is the bishop there. I can simply save my bishop next and that things look good already your piece up in the opening and probably opponent would have resigned as well this was number one that i missed okay sorry for that
and then missed another trick somewhere. Let me remind. There's a free pawn there, though. I missed it. Could have taken. Uh, could I have taken a center pawn here with a check? No. Is this bad? Okay, opponent can get the bishop out. I can come back, so it's not a big deal. If he does take, I take with the knight, and suddenly I'm up the tempo. I can, I'm attacking the pawn extra. The bishop can save it, but then again, I'll take the bishop, and opponent takes back. I can take another pawn, which leads to another one hanging. And to safeguard it, probably pawn forward, I go back. Bishop can come here, trying to take the knight and spoil the pawn structure. I can centralize my rook. Opponent will take, I'll take back. Opponent takes, what am I dragging now? Okay. Tools. Okay, this takes, this takes. A uh, kind of good situation, I would say, to be in with extra pawns. Uh, these pawns are too strong. Uh, even I have extra pawn on the C file. So this was again winning. Uh, so missed a couple of pawns there. Castled. White is ahead here. And then just I tried exchange stuff. My opponent the nice queen exchange and attack the rook. Go here, take extra pawn. And try to exchange queens. Okay, this was bad because my opponent can come here. And that's like kind of threatening checkmate from a couple of places. So I have to move. And I can still expect a check to begin with, which pushes me towards the other side of the board. And then my opponent can attack my bishop as well. I can come here. Things would have been pretty wrong from there, for sure. So my opponent missed this trick. And then we exchange stuff, just trying to play it. Okay, and I missed this pawn as well. This could have been taken here by my opponent which would have made this game draw kind uh, just point to advantage with black uh, that too because bishop doesn't take so i just played pawn forward then tried to attack and make sure that i can use some advantage with the pins here i gave him a check he came down i had to take the pawn so i took this one first she takes i take another check and the right move here my problem with this could have been simple uh, bishop comes in with a check then i have to take the bishop or i lose the rook bishop having a good folk so this could have been tricky and if i take and so does my opponent i'm left with a bishop and a rook against two rooks um still bishop is stronger because controlling the pawns and some point of time, my opponent will have to get rid of the bishop with the rook. So that was kind of an equalizer. Plus, whenever my opponent takes the uh, bishop, I have extra pawn as well. So that pawn can be eventually promoted. So still 0.6 in favor of black, despite that trade happens. So you're good pretty much in the game. Uh, could have made it easier in the opening by taking that. But then the video wouldn't have been longer too. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And thank you so much for your time. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.